Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on, to today's, story. Not sure where I am or what I'm thinking. Rant. On mobile right now. Sorry for mistakes if they occur. I'm not really sure exactly why I am posting. I have to talk to my fiancé duck. We were watching a movie with her sister over Zoom. Watching the same thing at the same time. They are far from each other. They FaceTime the whole time. I eventually passed out. I woke up to the last of it and finished it. I saw she was asleep and that her sister was too. Her phone screen was active so I assumed they were FaceTime. I went to turn her phone off when I saw it wasn't on FaceTime. Just some text messages from someone I didn't recognize. She has all kinds of funny names for people and so I assumed it was a friend. I was about to close it but the messages there were kind of sexual and had eggplant. Jizz from the sender side. From her side mouth emotes. Mouth. Except iPhone emojis. Never had an iPhone. I thought the least of it, but had the urge to scroll up. Nothing too weird. Figured it was the friend she got in touch with. It just didn't stop. Then I eventually found the texts that make you wish you didn't see them. And maybe you could pretend you didn't. After that it was over. Mind you, she is asleep the whole time and still is. I then went through the entire messages from the person and took pictures with my phone. We are supposed to get married in December. We will have been together 8 years. I never even wanted marriage or kids until she showed me how great it could be. Duck. Don't ever marry a cheater. You will be sleeping with one eye open the rest of your life. And a knife firmly lodged in your back. The wedding definitely needs to be cancelled get your deposits back ASAP. I know you are still raw because I was in the same situation. I can tell you automatically do the 180. Read about it on here. Do not show emotion and just get the facts. Get your story out before she can change the narrative also. This is about to be one of the most brutal experiences of your life but you need to take the love you have for her away because that person is gone. You right now are dealing with a cheater. They are not human while they are in their thought. Look on here and see people consistently baffled by how soulless their waywards turn off to decades being together. Expect gaslighting of the highest order and extreme trickle truth. Do not believe anything she says without hard undeniable proof and once you get that information do what you feel right. I usually tell everyone to just leave but feelings are a bitch but I will say people who went through their marriage after infidelity almost always regret it in the end. Good luck we are here for you. As a BS let me advise you to never, never watch that particular movie again. You probably don't even know half of what she really did. When you find something by accident, then it is often just the tip of the iceberg. Take care of yourself now. Tell her that you know that she cheated on you. Don't tell her more. Don't tell her what you found. Just that you know that she is cheating on you. Ask for nothing. Tell her that you are disappointed and feel betrayed and that you want time separated from each other. Then do that and leave. If she has any desire to save this relationship, then she will go above and beyond to prove that she wants you and that starts by coming 100% clean on her own. Because of that, never tell her what you exactly know. As long as she doesn't know what you know, she also doesn't know what she has to confess to. Tell her that you will go to a doctor and get tested for STDs and that she should do the same. Then do it. After that, take some time and ask yourself if that kind of behavior is the behavior of the woman you want to grow old with. You are worth so much more than to be treated this way. When you find something by accident, then it is often just the tip of the iceberg. This, for sure. When you catch them by accident it's because they are so sloppy or managing so much cheating it's getting out of hand. If she says they just kissed or never met when they are miming blowjobs with no context, don't bother talking to her anymore. Just throw her out for a few days while you get affairs in order. You will look back on this moment someday and thank God for it. Keep your head on straight. Life goes on. Someday the women you deserve will find you. Until then focus on yourself and the life you want. Hello everyone. Thank you all for your comments and messages. I have things to do now. For others who may have looked and not commented, we can do this. We don't have to be mean or nasty on any level. Let's not bring ourselves down to a lower level. Thank you for those who have messaged me and provided additional support. For those wondering, I did talk to her later. I woke her up. I didn't bring it up though, for a number of reasons. 
I needed more details to confirm things. I was able to get more info that solidifies my understanding of things. Can you post an update later down the line? Just wanted to say don't let anyone overstep your boundaries. If you are uncomfortable, share it. That's how a relationship works. The same applies for your partner too. If she had problems she could have come forward other than messaging others for validation. My advice would be to first cancel the wedding. Second if you are not sure if the affair was physical or not. Get yourself STD STI checked. Third is don't ever believe a cheater about the affair. Because cheaters go extreme lengths to cover their misdeeds. Cheaters and truth is like oil and water they never mix. Fourth and final one is if you are thinking of reconciliation. Postpone the wedding indefinitely. Because it takes a long time to rebuild trust. For that she has to take accountability of her actions and come clean to everyone friends. Family. Until that you are just holding. Hope you find peace. I hope you took pictures of the messages. I am a mean sob. So I'd send an e-blast to all your friends and family of what you have found plus a demand she leaves when she wakes up. Oh. And keep the ring. I would wait a bit and get even more undeniable proof of the affair. Something that she can't deny. Minimize. Trickle truth or gaslight or explain away. I agree with a previous commenter. Only tell her that you know. But not what or how much you know and act on it. I never understand comments like this. Especially in this case. He already has evidence that she's cheating and they aren't married. He could literally leave now if he wants consequence free. Some people are weak of mind or are so entangled they will create an exit ruckus. It's something people do but it makes really no sense. It really doesn't. If it's about taking revenge then have your revenge but don't. Otherwise it is completely useless. In my state, my lawyer didn't care at all that my STBXW cheated on me. It's a no-fault state. It is irrelevant. Maybe it's different where this person lives, but still, just leave the person. Especially this person who is not legally connected to the fiancé at all. Sadly there was a post where a guy caught his wife ducking another guy in their house, in their bed. Had an update not too long after where somehow the wife convinced him that they should have an open marriage. SMH. Also, it comes up a lot that BS don't need a smoking gun to leave. This isn't a court of law and with what OP has would be enough to just plain ghost his fiancé. But some think it's just a huge misunderstanding. Yeah OP's fiancé is just talking to dude about eggplant farming and how much water it requires for them to grow. I hear you, but based on the story he gave us, it sounds like there were raunchy pictures. Pretty undeniable unless you want to fool yourself into something. Oh I agree completely. Just some BS do just as well in the mental gymnastics if they truly are afraid to dump leave. Ugh. I feel so sorry for all victims of infidelity. It destroys your mind. Cheating is one of the worst things can ever be done to a person. I never even wanted marriage or kids until she showed me how great it could be. Cheaters use the outward appearance of stability in their personal life to mask the instability and emotional black hole they have. However given you said things were great though, it's more likely an old flame or someone with a silver tongue managed to get in her ear. Either way, she was tested and she failed. It's always around the time the commitment settles in and marriage approaches that people act out the most. Honestly I know you want to wake her up and just yell at her. I know you want her to answer for what she's doing. Don't. Plan your exit. Get your ducks in a row. Figure out what you want given any scenario. What will you do if she begs? What will you do if she gets spiteful or blames you? What if it's an ex? What if it's someone from a CD bar? What will you do if she leaves? What will you do if you have to live together? What will you do if she tries to make you leave? What will you tell friends and family about the sudden turmoil? Will you expose this? What will you do if she lies preemptively about you to protect herself? These are the usual big things that come up in every infidelity case. Don't overlook anything. What do you want to do now? Leave her or try to do reconciliation. My opinion dumping her is the right action if you don't want to get hurt more. If you want to try reconciliation you need to at least take the ring back from her and while you have her phone try to check if she is doing it with only one person. Don't marry a cheater at all. I made that mistake and ignored that she had cheated with multiple guys whilst with her ex-boyfriend whom she lived with and she ended up cheating on me and destroying our little family. Never take them back if you do they will lose what little respect they had for you. Bullet Dodger should be your new name. Cancel that wedding. This is how I found out my exo was first being unfaithful. 
He fell asleep after too many drinks. Also an issue. And he was playing a video on his phone so I took his phone to turn it off and there was a message that popped up from an unsaved number. I immediately knew who it was. His ex. Because it was a concern before. The threads before were deleted but I could see he initiated the text this time which proved he lied the first time. Saying he was just trying to be nice to her when she'd text him. Being nice by sending her eggplants and kissy faces. Anyways turns out it wasn't just texting. He was still stopping by to see her and they went on a few dates. They were flirting with reconciliation. That blew up. She found out he cheated on her. The end. Only for him to repeat this behavior three years later. Except I was now the ex in that position he was trying to reconcile with while he had a new girl on the go. Do not marry someone dishonest. It will eat at you and it is not worth the anxiety. Any conversation about this needs to start with I know more than you think I know. The only thing that will save you here is the full truth with nothing held back. So start talking. Your job then is to shut the hell up. Write down what she says or record it. She's going to try and get some information as far as what you know, how you got it, etc. Don't give IT to her. You're not the one owing explanations here. Also, vague details from her are a total lie. The truth is vivid and easy to recall. Look up my post history. A cop friend of mine taught me how to do the confrontation. Interrogation. Really. And I made a post on here about it. Everything he said she would do say was as exactly as he described she would do if she was guilty. The whole thing felt scripted. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.